officially summer, you guys. So what better video to do than my top 10 summer beauty essentials? It might seem a little bit backward that self tanner is a summer essential for me versus a winter. Well, it's also a winter essential. Let's just be honest here. I use self tanner year round. I especially love self tanner in the summer because I have become very cautious about the time that I spend in the sun. Gone are the days where I just go lay out and bake myself in the sun like I used to do in high school to try to get a tan. So I have to fake a tan now. And you guys know that I'm a big fan of the Saint Tropez bronzing mousse, but in case you didn't know, they recently reformulated it and they came out with a couple of different options. And one of them is the new untinted classic. So the thing about this stuff is there isn't a bronzing guideline in it, which can make it a little tricky, especially if you're inexperienced because you can't see where this is going. It comes out of the bottle clear, but the amazing thing about it is it has zero odor. I'm talking like you cannot smell it at all, which the previous formulation of this with the bronzer guideline in it was pretty smelly and this I can put on, I can wear it all day and there isn't that weird like overly bronzed look or an odor to it. And the formula of a bronzing mousse is so easy to apply, especially if you use the mitt, it blends in really well. If you are using the untinted version though, I would just make sure to be extra thorough because you can't see where it's going. It's summer, you gotta have some sunscreen. And I've tried a lot of sunscreens over the years. And one of my favorites is the Sunbum SPF 30. What I like about this is it feels just like a regular lotion on your skin. It isn't greasy, it's really hydrating. I feel like a lot of sunscreens have like a greasy or a sticky feel or something to them. But when I apply this, my skin just looks really moisturized, really soft, and it wears well. of a combination necessity. Technically it's two products, but I'm counting it as one. Priming and setting have been two areas of my makeup routine I've really slacked on historically. It's like the first thing I cut out when I'm feeling lazy or just don't really wanna do it. But recently I have been using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water to prime my face in combination with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray at the end of my makeup routine to set my face. And this combination is bulletproof. It makes such a difference in the way that my makeup wears throughout the day. I can't believe that I have skipped these steps so much in the past. When it's a hot day, your makeup likes to slide around, your eye makeup will crease or your concealer will crease. And these two together just really make a big difference with that. And I like that they're both mists because it's kind of refreshing to like mist your face with them when you're doing your makeup. One of the best habits that you can get into is wearing SPF in your makeup. And I was reminded of this on a trip last month. I went to DC and we went out for the day and it was one of those days that started out cloudy so we didn't anticipate a lot of sun. And then the sun came out of nowhere and we were out walking around in the sun all day. And when I got back to the hotel that night, I was so burnt right above the neckline of my shirt right here. But I could see that everywhere that I'd blended my foundation in and down my neck was fine. Like not burned at all. And I was like, that was just a normal step of my routine to have some SPF in my makeup and it made such a difference. So having SPF in your makeup will save your skin from so much everyday, day-to-day -day exposure. I've been working with Almay recently and using their Smart Shade Skin Tone Matching Makeup. This has SPF 15 in it and you guys, this product is really cool. It's designed to achieve the perfect shade of foundation and it has what they call shade sensing bead technology in it and it comes out of the tube white and then once you start blending it on your skin, it somehow magically adjusts to your skin tone. I like to apply this with my fingertips and it just has this really fresh, glowy, buildable finish and it's packed with a lot of antioxidant rich ingredients as well. This comes in three shades. I'm the shade light medium. You can find this at drugstores and mass retailers and also the entire Almay line is hypoallergenic and fragrance free, which I didn't realize, but that's pretty cool. And I will have a link to this down below if you wanna check it out. A good setting powder is another product that is a must have for me in the summertime because some strategic powdering can make the difference between a fresh glow and a sweaty glow. Right now I'm using the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. You guys recommended this to me 
And this powder is legit. Like it is a whole other level of setting powders. When I put this on my face, it is like, it just locks things in. It's pretty awesome, but as a result, I try not to overdo it. So I really just try to focus this on like my nose and my forehead where I'll get kind of sweaty, shiny pretty easily. And I'll use this both in the morning when I'm first doing my makeup and then also in the afternoon when things look like they need a little freshening up. I am having a bit of a moment with Becca blushes right now. I love a bright blush color in the summertime and their new-ish line of the Luminous blushes is full of bright pigmented colors. And I know I was talking about Tiger Lily a few weeks ago, which is more of an orange tone. I have recently also discovered Snapdragon. You're probably looking at my skin and looking at that and thinking, uh-uh, no, don't do it, don't do it. Well, I did it. I'm wearing this today and I literally have one light tap of this on each cheek because that is all that it takes to flush my very pale skin. This is the most beautiful coral color. It does look very shimmery in the pan, but the shimmer doesn't really transfer that much to the cheeks. It doesn't look frosty or anything on the cheeks. And I think this color, I mean, if you, especially if you have like a medium or a darker skin tone, this would just be absolutely stunning. You could really pack this on and have bright, corally flushed cheeks for summer. There are two tried and true bronze eyeshadow staples that I have had and used and repurchased for years and years and years, and they are both from MAC. I have them down in my palette. They're these two. They are Patina and Woodwinked, and they look kind of similar when you look at them next to each other, but the finishes are different, and thus the pigmentation is also a little bit different. Patina is the more understated one. It's a little bit lighter, and it has some gold to it. It's absolutely beautiful. This is one that you can just lightly dust all over the lid to add a little bit of a bronze, smoky eye. It's so pretty. And then Woodwinked is like the mother of all bronze eyeshadows. It is so pigmented and it is so just like bam, like it is absolutely gorgeous. I have a little bit of this on the outer half of my eye today as well as on my lower lash line. And it is, it is one of those bronze eyeshadows that makes a statement. But they are both absolutely gorgeous colors. You cannot go wrong with either of them. I think they flatter all skin tones, all eye colors, just gorgeous. As you guys know, I'm sure you've noticed, I don't really wear a lot of bright colors on my nails very often, but in the summer, I do like to break out some fun shades and I always have bright colors on my toes. And actually what's on my toes right now is Butter London's Trout Pout. This is my perfect summer polish right now because it's bright, but it's not neon. I'm kind of out of my neon phase. I had a big neon phase a few years back. I don't know if you guys remember me hauling like a bajillion neon nail polishes. It's a cream, it's beautiful. I definitely recommend it. Choosing a number one favorite summer fragrance is kind of hard for me because as a lot of you guys know, I have just some really old tried and true favorites like Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, Bobbi Brown Beach. These are both awesome if you're looking for true summery scents. This one smells like sunscreen. But this summer I am really digging the Giorgio Armani Sea Rose fragrance. This is, I don't think it's limited edition, but it did come out as kind of an extension of the original Sea fragrance in, I think it was the spring that this came out and it smells so great. It has notes of blackcurrant and rose and vanilla. I will have a link to this down below. I personally think it smells even better than the original C. Uh, I smelled both of them in store when I purchased this one and I decided to go with this one because I just liked it more. Now I bet you thought that I was going to get through an entire video without talking about my Batiste dry shampoo. And you were wrong, you underestimated me. My 10th and final summer beauty essential is dry shampoo. And you guys know I love my Batiste. I would be curious to know how many bottles of this I've gone through in the last five or so years that I've been using it. I actually do love a lot of different dry shampoos. I feel like I'm always talking about this one. This is just the most affordable one I think that I've used that I've really, really loved, which is why I keep repurchasing it. The dry shampoo isn't just a summer essential. It is a life essential, but especially in the summer when it's hotter and it's sweatier and sometimes even just in one day, your hair starts looking greasy and sweaty and you need to freshen it up a little bit. It's amazing, it's affordable, I love it. And there you have it guys, those are my top 10 summer beauty essentials for this summer. Let me know what yours are down in a comment below. I will have all these products that I talked about listed and linked down below if you'd like to check them out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you guys next time, bye.